Hey everybody! I'm going to start by showing you the painting from video 365 because I never showed you guys it. Um, it turned out pretty cool. Um, I love... I love looking at all of, like the little details of it, especially like that orange. Ooh, an eye. Octopus eye is what it's reminded me of. Um, so there's that. Now I'm going to do, this is the painting I just did. And it is so light and delicate. It's like it's almost not there. And it was using the different negative space, that different brand of paint. And that was a mallet smash that I obviously tilted a lot of. So I'm going to try using that again. I'm going to do a flip and drag. So different technique. Oops. Okay. So different technique. And... Uh, We'll see if it gives that same kind of flowy look. Um, I did mix it a little thinner, which possibly could be it. Um, or it could just be that pour turned out that way because it did. Because sometimes we just have zero control. <laughs> and you got to go with it. So this is what I used. i got to be careful because I didn't take... I haven't put the lid back on. Um, so Pittsburgh Paint Primer 1. It's interior flat paint. I'm calling it fake white because it's got like three different colors in it, but it's still almost white. And I'm going to do the flip and drag. Gosh, I had the hardest time trying to decide what colors to use. Um, switch that one out. So I got Artist Love Metallic Blue, Artist Love Cerulean Blue, and Liquitex Basic Prism Violet. And I keep wanting to put orange in there and I can't because orange would be bad in there. I know it would be bad. I know for a fact it would be bad, but I just want to. Urgh. I don't know where I have this desire to put orange in stuff, but it's driving me bonkers. Lately, I just want to put orange in everything. And I'm actually going to put a little bit of this color in it. In my flip cup. And no particular order for me putting these in. See, it's calling out for orange. I'm not going to do it. I am going to put bright aqua green though. colors, all these paints are mixed with Floetrol and water. And hopefully that is enough to cover. So today is Friday. It's my last Friday of freedom. Well, I think you're watching this on a Thursday, but um, the school starts next week on Wednesday. Ah, oh, crap, my shirt just got in it. Students don't go back till the following Monday, but 
teachers come back. Which is sad. I don't want summer to end, even though I really haven't done pretty much anything that I planned on. So there isn't silicone in here, so which is going to give it a more pastel look anyways. Oops. Because the silicone will bubble up and um, more cells take over, but you can see that the um, white is sure popping. Oh, I put white in the flip cup too. Forgot about that. All right, so maybe it's good I didn't put orange in yet. <laughs> um, okay, I couldn't tell if that was down to the bare canvas or not. All right, so I think I'm safe with tilting it now. Tilt it off the side a little. So this paint is very flowy, so I'm Must have been mixed quite thin. I thought I had thickened it up more, but maybe not. It's always weird with a new brand. Um, there's still a learning curve. still is really light which yeah I know I put the white in there but the other direction just because it is really um, you can tell it's tilted too much in one way and this canvas I don't know if you could tell when I first if you noticed um, it had a previous painting on it and I just gessoed over that and I used to never gesso over I would just pour over but um, I'm finding I get better results when I gesso over the old painting. That's kind of cool. I'm wondering if uh, a whole bunch of white's gonna come up. All right, I have to do orange. I don't care what any of you say. might actually ruin it. But I really want orange. <gasps> I know what I'll do. satisfied my orange craving. So now what 
let's see what happens. Not as many, I thought a whole bunch of those teeny tiny annoying white cells would all pop up, but surprisingly it didn't. just looking at it right now. Interesting. I'm excited to see it dry. Not crazy about this though. I do have a little bit of this one. it's it's a pretty pour it is definitely not um, one of my most exciting pours um, but it is very pretty and I can't wait to see how it dries with this new paint I will catch y'all next time bye